This is what one sheet of plywood, four nails, a piece of glass, and some glue look like. Commonly known as an entertainment unit. First it started out like this. Then like this. This used to be too much material. And these were just a mess. But eventually I ended up with this. Minus the wings. My name's Jason and welcome to JG Woodcraft. Today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful entertainment unit using only one sheet of plywood, one piece of glass, four nails, and four dowels. This project is my official entry into the Rockla Plywood Challenge hosted by Modern Maker Podcast. The design is original and I spent quite a lot of time going through iterations and making it fit into one sheet of plywood. Unfortunately, some of my footage went missing so I'll try to explain it as I go. Hope you enjoy! With a circular saw, I cut off the edges for the base pieces. Then I took the rest of the sheet through the table saw to cut the pieces that would make up the bottom, top and sides. This is my first time working with such a large piece of plywood. These sheets run for about $160 to $200 a piece here, so I really wanted to be careful. Now that the size of the plywood was much more manageable to work with, I cross cut the pieces for the sides, inner dividers and the pillars that would hold the glass shelf in the middle. The pillars in the middle that hold up the shelf are also going to be holding the weight of the television. These are actually made up of four pieces mitered at the corners and glued together. I set the blade on my table saw to 45 degrees, then cut the first piece, turn the whole piece over, then cut the next piece, and continue to do this until I had eight pieces for both pillars. To make gluing these up simple, I put them edge to edge over painter's tape, put glue in the mitres, and then with the painter's tape acting as a hinge, I closed them all up. After working out some tricky angles for the base, I glued them all together and used a strap clamp to hold them in place while they dried. I then measured and marked where I wanted the bottom to sit, and used some temporary blocks to keep it aligned for glue up. These blocks were later removed as they weren't necessary and weren't made of plywood anyway. Even though I had cut the sides to the dimensions in my design, they still weren't quite the right length. So I positioned everything roughly where it was going to sit, and cut the side pieces to size. I gave the internal pieces a light sanding before the glue up, because it's easier to get to them before everything's put together. Then, I took them over to the table saw to cut a slot in them, to accept the glass shelf in the center. Now, it was finally time to dry fit everything together and see how it looks. After messing with the positioning and squaring everything up, I glued everything together. Once everything was all dry, the only thing that was left to do was cut the front and back doors of the side cabinets to their final size. The backs are glued in, while the fronts are made a little bit smaller so they can swivel and open up like doors. I couldn't think of a very aesthetic way to attach hinges to these doors, so I ended up using two dowels at the top and bottom near the center of the doors so that they open up with a bit of a swivel motion. I flushed up all of the odd angled edges with a hand plane and sander, then proceeded to sand the whole cabinet up to 240 grit before wiping it all down with a tack cloth and giving it two coats of wipe on poly. This is my entertainment unit. I'm going to put my TV on it, a PS4, some accessories and a speaker, more games, and an Apple TV. Maybe I'll put it like this, or like this, but it's mine, made for me, and I can do what I want with it. Hope you enjoyed this build, my name's Jason and thank you for watching JG Woodcraft.